The Zelda character Tetra has some fishy origins to her name. Her first appearance was in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker as a pirate captain and secondary protagonist to the player. Although she starts as a spunky bossy and strong-willed ruffian, by the end of the adventure, she becomes one of the most adored Zelda characters in the series. So where the heck did the name Tetra come from? It's a somewhat random sounding name, isn't it? Well, there are a lot of reasons why Nintendo might have chosen it. The first and most likely is that Tetra was named after a fish. To be specific, the Tetra fish, a classification which includes 150 species of tiny freshwater fish that originate from Africa, Central America, and South America. They're also popular pets. My personal favorites are the Bucktooth Tetra, the Black Flag Tetra, and the Jelly Bean Tetra. Ain't you a cute little sucker? According to the Japanese dictionary website Jisho, Tetra's Japanese name literally refers to this type of fish. So I'd say there's a very good chance this is what inspired Nintendo. However, that's not the only theory behind the origin of Tetra's name. One theory is that her name refers to a tetrahedron, aka the shape of a four-sided die. If you unfold one of these, it forms the shape of a Triforce, the most powerful item in the Zelda series. And I wouldn't put it past Nintendo to do something clever like that. Still, the most outlandish and amusing theory about the origin of her name comes from the word Tetro, which is the Italian word for shady, a possible reference to her career as a pirate. Though I, I find this theory a little bit unlikely since the Italian version of Wind Waker doesn't use the name Tetro. Instead, the Italians did something much more clever. They named her Dizel, which is an anagram of the name Zelda. Way to go, Italians! To learn about the absolute hottest and coldest places in Breath of the Wild, click here. To learn about Ocarina of Time's weird speedruns, click here.